Good morning, folks, and welcome to Vaping and the Blues in the Morning with your host, Carl Cipriano. All right, today we are going to mix some vanilla custard. I uh, love vanilla custard. I'm missing uh, French vanilla and my uh, favorite combo, French vanilla with um, New York cheesecake. And I do have Capella vanilla custard, the staple. Um, however, I do not have the French vanilla or the um, New York cheesecake. So I've had to uh, improvise and uh, it's taken a while, but I've worked out a way to include a shit ton of flavors. Uh, and come up with something half decent. I like to use this bottle uh, sometimes because it has markings you can't see on it. Uh, right now it just makes things easier. Okay, so let's get to it. Uh, waste too much time. First, we are going to start off with some poison. Poison. Benign. Benign poison. Unless you drink the whole thing, in which case it's not so benign. Uh, we are going to, since I am preferable now to 5% <clears throat> nicotine, down from 24% when I first started. This also has measurements in the cap, I like that. So we're going to include 5 mil of this poison, that's 100 milligram per mil uh, nicotine in uh, uh, steeped in uh, propylene glycol. Okay, I'm just going to Take that right in there. I like to put my, uh, I prefer to put my nicotine in first. Um, that way, you know, I find it mixes well. All right. Um, next thing I like to add in is my uh, staples. Uh, most important, of course, would be the uh, Capella Vanilla Custard version one. All right. We are going to include 10 mil of the Capella Vanilla Custard version one in this uh, mix here. Uh, uh, sometimes I use um, sometimes I use uh, syringes, but today, for convenience sake and to make things a little bit faster, we're just going to use the little. little glass. Yeah. Smells good enough to drink, but I wouldn't recommend it. All right, uh, after that, we're going to include four mil of vanilla custard, Capella vanilla custard, of course, version two. Let's mix four mil in there. A little bit extra. Alright, there we got the staple of our custard. Next on the list, some Bavarian cream, very important. Um, we are just going to go for one mil of the Bavarian cream today. Now, this does have, like I said, you know, very difficult at this point to measure there. So we'll just measure here. We just need one mil of this here. And in addition to the Bavarian cream, but actually that's not quite enough. Let's, uh, let's, uh, yeah, one mil of Bavarian cream, more than enough. Okay, on top of that, we're going to include some Inawara biscuit. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, holy fuck, there's no need for all that. And really, I guess there is no need for all that. Um, like I said, it took me a while to figure this out. Um, I like a very simple custard. Uh, many people say Grant's Vanilla Custard is simply uh, Capella Vanilla Custard version one, plus a little bit of New York cheesecake and a little bit of um, French vanilla. You know? And I've tried it that way many times and I love it and it tastes fantastic to me. But I cannot, for the life of me, seem to emulate that without using 150,000 different uh, flavors. So, next on the list is a little bit of whipped cream. Just a little bit. One mil whipped cream. Alright, there we go. 
I know of whipped cream. And to that, we are going to add one mil of sugar cookie. A little bit less than one mil, because this is kind of sweet, so just, uh, just a tad less than one mil of that. You want to overpower it with uh, too much sugar cooking. All right. Excellent. There we, there we go. All right, we're almost done. Now, without having the uh, French vanilla, New York cheesecake, vanilla bean ice cream, very important, very important, vanilla bean ice cream, we're going to include one mil today, oh, oh it smells so good, it smells so good, all right, all right, maybe a little bit more than one mil of the vanilla bean ice cream, all right, this is a 100 mil bottle, I like a high VG mix, so, uh, we're gonna end up with about 23 and a half, 24 mil of PG um, because all these flavors are mixed in PG. And the rest will be VG. And just a tiny little bit of uh, acetylpralazine. Uh, we, we really don't need to measure the acetylpralazine because uh, you don't need much. Just about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten drops of that stuff. Strong stuff. All right. There you have it. Not quite Grant's vanilla custard. Oh, well, of course. I'll add some vegetable glycerin. All right. Uh, I like to clean this out. You know, no point in wasting any flavor whatsoever. So let's just uh, get this cleaned out a little bit. Swish it around. Add that in there. Try not to make a mess. Alrighty then. Okay, and then we will just finish it off. And squeeze her in. Now, I can hear some wheels turning out there. People thinking, oh my God, it's going to taste like shit. Um, it is a lot of flavors. It's quite a mixture. I like it. Um, I, I, it took a, quite a bit of an experimenting, uh, it's amazing what a difference, uh, it makes to use a little bit too much of one and then not quite enough of another and, and, uh, so on like that. But if you use just the right amount of everything, it comes out just right. Here's the top for this motherfucker. All right, excuse my language, sorry. Okay. There we go. All right, let's close that top up. Ah, I'm gonna give it a shake. Nice, good, solid shake in there. Okay, you can see that changing color already. The longer this steeps, the darker it gets and the better it tastes. Here's a, a bit of an example here. See that? And that, same stuff. Well, I'm, I'm kind of lying. This here is uh, similar, but it's got a little bit of something extra. It's, it's pretty good. So one of my biggest pet peeves here. I freaking hate that, so I'll do that once, and I won't bother you that again. Everyone knows that everyone vapes. There's no need to vape in everyone's face all the time. All right shake this up a little bit more. Now, I am going to show you a little something else too. Um, thanks to my good friend Albert Lee, I have this uh, beautiful RX-230. Some of these LGs, I was using the uh, um, 25R for the longest time. These last surprisingly a lot longer than I thought they would, uh, significantly longer than the um, 25Rs do, I find anyways. Um, uh, since I got this uh, uh, RX two thirds, I've been using it exclusively with two batteries. Um, this is my older, I've had this for a long time, it's my older um, RX 200 and I just use this at home with my 
Aromalizer Supreme on top of it. Um, doesn't really leave the house. So this is what I use when I go out and about. And it lasts me, you know, all day, day and a half. You know, and I don't like to go past 50%, 40% uh, discharging the battery. That's another story, though. So um, how you put this together is not quite like... It's not like a battery uh, attached, but I like this. It clips on. It's a little more secure. You notice the clips here. You go in here, and you just stick the clips in there, like that. All right, and then boom, inside, on we go. All right, now, there we go, 100%. I'll show you guys something else, too. First, I'm going to give this a bit of a shake. Now, here's here's the thing. i got to put you all on hold for uh, one second here. All right. Where were we? Okay, yes. i going to shake this up a little bit more. All right, we put that together nicely. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick. I personally am not a big fan of um, dual coils. So what I do is I take the, you know, my regular aromatizer and I uh, put together a single coil you can see that there it's a single coil in the aromatizer right see that vertical single vertical coil very very close to the middle but not quite in the middle all right that's what I use tricky very tricky to um, to uh, to wick, especially with my now favorite, ultimately favorite cotton Drago cotton roll. I never thought I'd spend the kind of money on cotton that they did on this stuff, but yeah, you know this stuff is something else. I'm telling you, this uh, I got from Albert Lee as well. Um, awesome stuff. Looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Kind of strange. You know, it looks like. It looks like it was basically just sheared right off the sheep and then stuck together and there you go. Um, so, you know, I was, you know, wondered a little. That's weird. It falls apart really easily, so not easy to use at all. But once you get the hang of it, this stuff is unbeatable. Uh, just pure taste of, of juice. Don't taste any kind of cotton at all. And uh, really tricky to, kind of tricky to, to um, wick this single vertical coil in a dual tank as well. But it can be done, and it will be done. And what I do, that Drago cotton roll comes in a uh, little roll, right? But I like to take it out, cut it into some pieces, and stick it into a, a Ziploc baggie. Keep it nice and airtight so it it keeps because uh I'm surprised how long this stuff lasts i hardly used any of it and i've had it for a good solid you know month and a half now maybe all right so okay. Drago cotton roll now what you've got to do with this is kind of kind of roll it up a little bit but not See, when you roll this stuff, it tends to come apart, so you gotta be real gentle. And you'll see the way you gotta um, wick this single single coil in a dual tank is uh, kind of tricky. And right, I'll show you. But it really works out well if you do it right. Okay, I like to do two separate little pieces here, one a little thicker than the other. And I stick them together like that, see? And just to make sure I can get them through, all right. Uh, maybe a little tiny bit thick, so I'm gonna take my trusty little tool here and take a little bit off, not too much. Boom, just enough, all right. Ah, there we go, okay. And uh, there we go. Morning blues, vaping shoes. Makes no sense. But it rhymes. 
All right, there we go. Okay, now, what happens next is I'll take, I'll take it off the mod so I can try to show you here. I only have the one camera, but let's see if I can show you guys here how this works. All right. Like I said, this stuff is hard to work with, but if you get the hang of it, it really is worth it. All right. Stick that through the top of the vertical coil. Tears apart real easy, so you gotta be extra careful. Okay, now let's separate these two pieces. And the bigger piece we're going to stick underneath here. I'll show you. Try to show you afterwards. It's really not easy to show. Easier to do than to show. Okay. Using a 0.8 ohm spaced coil, 24 gauge. wasting it, but I didn't want to take the chance of screwing it up too much. Okay, so, <clears throat> hard for you to see there, but I'm going to cut this off right here. Okay. Spread that around. See there. Add that a bit. Oops. There, and stick that right on top there. Okay, gonna cut a little bit more off here. There we go. <clears throat> and I will show you the finished product in not too long. All right, the other side, a little bit easier. The other side, we just take it and we just cut it off right there. Boom. Done. Try to spread it out a little bit. Now, this this stuff, you, I like to spread the cotton, but with this Drago cotton, if you spread it too much, it literally just falls right apart. So you got to be careful with it. Did I... Uh, did I mention it's tricky to work with? All right, now, like I said, I used far too much. So I got a whole hell of a lot at the top here that I'm just gonna cut off. Boom, all right. That's kind of a waste of good, good cotton. But it's for demonstration purposes, mainly. All right, there, okay. And that is what your single coil on what is meant for a dual coil build deck for the aroma miser looks like. Now <clears throat> I have to transfer a little bit of this over to this bottle here for um, juicing purposes. If I can do that, okay. Give it a little bit more of a shake. Now obviously you know the longer the steeps the better it tastes. 
However, well, it smells fantastic already, so let's just transfer a little bit so it's easier to juice it up. <clears throat> All right. Saturate this cotton oh, nicely saturated, saturated coil. See that there? Get it all nice and saturated here. There we go. Okay, there's that. And of course, fill up the old aromamizer, the original. I like the bottom fill tank personally. Always have. Uh, I guess it comes from the first few years of vaping. Strictly Tanger guy. All bottom coils. Alright, let's fill that up. Almost there. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. Okay, take this, and you guys know the rest. I'm sure you know the drill there. Let's put that on top. Let's screw it on. <clears throat> we got some vanilla custard. Hopefully, it tastes like vanilla custard. Like I said this is a 0.8 ohms, 24 gauge coil build, and. Believe it or not, 14.5 watts, 3.4 volts, 4.1 amps. Pretty tasty. It'll taste better as it steeps more, but that is. One hell of a good custard. It is a uh, damn fine custard. All right. Thanks to Albert Lee for the um, beautiful red and black RX two third um, and the LG batteries. And thanks to me for the wonderful vanilla custard. And thanks to you folks for listening to the blues with me this morning and joining me. Have a great day.